good morning. Boop. On the fifth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me a happy little Ivy. Oh, and a sad little Millie Boo Boo. Are you flossing? You flossing? Good job flossing. Rosie, you look beautiful. Do you have your jean jacket, babe? And I need to do your hair real quick. Okay, and I need to do your hair. Thank you. They are, I already have their shoes. Can you um, get your jean jacket and I'll do your hair? Bird is awake. Good morning, Bird. Are you excited to go back to this church? Are you just tired? She's not happy that we woke her up this morning. I wasn't happy that I woke myself up this morning, but it's okay. You know? Dad's in here doing the lotion and oil and hairline and all that good stuff. Looking sharp, buddy. Thanks. Thanks. No one's really... Everyone's cut. Yeah, we're not really... This is not a... Not exactly like morning people. Um, so, well, kind of am, but... Um, Everybody gets a little. Come on, Stella. Ah! Everybody gets a. Good Lord. Everybody gets a little bit cranky. Just kind of tired in the mornings, which is fine. You know, we're homeschoolers. We're not used to having to be up and out of the house super early, and we decided to go to the 9 a.m. service this morning. So we need to get out of here by like 8:15 to get there and get parked and get everybody inside and sorted in their uh, classrooms and. All that stuff. So, I'm gonna just tuck this in because it's driving me crazy. Okay, there we go. And it doesn't help that I had to change my outfit three times. <laughs> I put on one outfit this morning, and the skirt is so dry. The air is so the air is so dry that the skirt was like staticky and sticking, and I couldn't get it to stop. So then I changed and threw on a cream sweater, and I got lipstick on it while I was putting it on. So I'm on my third outfit today. Woohoo! Bishop Mall. Good morning, we gotta go find your fuzzy slipper shoes. We gotta go find your Zitanos. Are you ready to go to church? Are you ready to go to church this morning? I'm so excited. All right, let's get these people out the door. All right, we managed to get everybody in the vehicle. Are you excited, CR? That's, my, that's our first win. Yeah, that's the first win is that we got everybody in the car. Now we have to get there and get everybody to their respective rooms or those who are gonna stay with us on service. Um, I forgot to get crayons. That's okay, I think I have a pen in my bag. So my mouth is like super dry this morning. Um, but yeah, that's the first win. We got everybody out the door. That is an Apple pen that shall only work on the iPad. Um, anyway, so we're excited. Poor Christopher, he ran around like a crazy person this morning because of my clothing debacle. It took me longer to get ready than it should have, so anyways. The, the, the glorious thing about being a guy is I got ready in eight minutes. It must be nice to just go into the bathroom, okay. slap on some deodorant, so a brush your teeth. For everybody else, let's just put it that way. It works out perfectly. Okay guys, we just left church a few minutes ago. We did go through the Starbucks drive-thru. Uh, my mouth is like so dry. My arms are also really tired <laughs> because I chased Amelia and Ivy. We didn't think that they would go into the children's nursery. We are not the type, we just don't like force our kids if they don't want to, they can stay in service with us. So uh, we took them into service with us, but they made it through worship and then could not sit still and be quiet and <laughs> really very well at all. So. Um, we ended up, I ended up taking them out into like the hall area to play and stuff, which was fine. I met a really sweet couple out there and got to chat for a while with them, another adoptive family. Um, but Ivy and Amelia were just running around. So they were just running around crazy and my arms are actually sore from like picking them up and grabbing them, picking them up and moving them and trying to hold them when they were like wrestling like little gators. So I went ahead and took the opportunity while I was out there to register them so that next week we can try the nursery for them and see if they will stay. But what did you think, Christoph? Because this was your first time. This oh, was I my second time. Yeah, I really, really enjoyed it. Uh, I was a little bit distracted with the twins early on. Uh, but when I was able to kind of table that, unfortunately, when you when you had to leave with the twins and I got a chance to kind of soak it in a little bit, it was, it was good. Yeah, I liked the messaging. The worship service was awesome. Uh, you said it best the other today, actually. It's not too big and it's not too small. It's kind of a, the 
perfect bowl of porridge, if you will. So, more to come. Yeah, so we're going to keep attending, and we just really like it so far. So, um, yeah, now we're going to go home, and I don't quite know yet what's going to happen next, but we're going to go home. Okay, kind of goes for All right, Christopher ran into Lowe's to get some paint for the door. And this little guy's fussy in his car seat and he's a burp. I need to get a burp out. I got the burp in there, I need to get out. So I got a burp in here, I need to get out. Say burp me before I blow up. Burp me before I blow up. Oh, I can smell that. Oh, yeah. It does feel real good, huh? Yeah. Oh, I can smell it from back here. Oh, I can bleed now. Whew. So it's burning the throat. So it's burning my throat. What did you think of the church? Did you like it? Was it kind of loud? Was it kind of loud for the bishop mall? Was it kind of loud for the bishop mall? Look at these cheeks. Look at these cheeks. Look, look, look at these cheeks. Look at these cheeks. Look at these. He was apparently, uh, CR said, and the lady, another lady came and told us that he was like, CR had him up on his shoulder because I was out with the twins, and I guess he was like smiling at the guy sitting behind us like the whole time. Were you smiling at him? Oh, yes. Yeah, Were you distracting like, him? Like, I smiling. Hello, mister. I was like, hello, friend. Let's chat. I Let's think chat. I'm to run up mm. We're bored. I'm tired. I'm hungry. I'm starving. Everyone's hungry. They're I'm starving. Dad will hurry up from the car that we're Well, he's in there as fast as he can, y'all. Starving. Okay, so CR is upstairs building furniture, and I'm actually gonna clean out this dresser thing down here. We store like a bunch of homeschool and other stuff in it, but I feel like I need to do something productive because I'm practically falling asleep just hanging out with the kids on the couch. So I made myself another cup of coffee, and I'm gonna clean this thing out. The drawers are emptied out. That's all the books that were in them. That's garbage so far. I need to go through everything and sort it, what we're gonna keep, what I'm gonna give away. Yeah, making progress. But of course, these two found the stickers. So, that shall be fun. Everything has been cleaned up. I just need to put these in here. But, pretty much all of these drawers are now empty, except for this one. This one has some sketch stuff and crayons. Whoops, isn't that closing all the way? Hmm. Hmm. There's something. Aha, piece of paper. Anyways. Nope, it sounds like there's more paper. Oh my gosh. This one is just all curriculum that I am going to sell or give away because we just don't use. But yeah, the rest of them are empty. We get to figure out exactly what I want to store in here. But those are all empty, those two are empty, and that one's empty. Now that I tackled that, I'm gonna come in here and tackle the schoolroom. I need to do a little bit of sorting and organizing. Number one, just to get us ready for our week, but I always feel like around the holidays, I don't know, I just always feel like around the holidays when you're like halfway through your school year roughly or whatever, um, that everything just kind of needs like a clean out and a reorg and there's lots of more loose papers and stuff like that. So I'm gonna work on that. Christopher is still up on the third floor building furniture. Uh, Jonah is playing with the neighbor in the backyard. And Rosie's in here helping me, but it was actually really cute. Her and Jonah were playing and then he saw that the neighbor was outside, so he wanted to go play with him. And um, he, him and Rosie had this like very emotional goodbye. And it was like, I love you and we'll, I'll come back and we'll play again later. And they like waved to each other through the glass and she blew him a kiss. It was hilarious and sweet all at the same time. But it was just like really overdramatic goodbye because he was going to play with the neighbors. Nice. Nice. 
good music. Go Ivy, go Millie, go Ivy, go Millie. Nice guys. All right, so we had we ended up having pizza for dinner. Sierra's been building furniture this entire afternoon. He has not come down, and it's 7:30. So I am Lord. Um, I just was cleaning out in the schoolroom, cleaning out in here, got all that stuff done, and now I'm gonna get these guys all ready for bed and get them put to bed. These two still have a lot of energy, but I think they're ready for bed. And Benji is just waking up after being asleep for a little while. So I'm gonna do the bedtime routine, and then we've still got some finishing touches to put on Kennedy's room, but hopefully it will be, and yours. Uh, hopefully it will be done in the next couple of days. But Christmas. Yeah. But that is going to be it for today's video. I hope y'all enjoyed, and we will see you guys again very soon.